Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. A general love weekly read for Pisces. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So please check out the other available videos on the channel so you get a clearer, more concise picture as what potentially could be happening for your love life in this week. Now, I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best fits with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. Okay, guys? If the reading resonates, then that's awesome. Or if parts of the message resonate, that's cool as well. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message, okay? So let's have a look and find out what's happening for Pisces, for love, for this week. I can't believe that I'm filming for December already, so this is very exciting. I'm actually getting quite excited for the idea of getting into 2022. Um, be a lovely fresh start for everyone. I think that will be very positive. So let's get into this. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What can we get for love, please? Angels of love and light. Can we please get clear, concise messages for love for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces, please? Okay, five of pentacles in reverse. Could be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the two of cups in reverse. Oh, okay. We've got water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got more water energy here with the nine of cups in reverse. Knight of Swords. What else for, for Pisces, please? Okay. Eight Pentacles in reverse. And one more for Pisces. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Sun. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Leo energy. And the Fall. Oh my gosh. How stunning is this? This is Aries energy. Okay. So what I'm picking up on is that either you or your love interest could be going through a separation as of sorts, potentially if there has been a third party situation, doesn't necessarily have to be. But what I'm picking up is that there may have been a bit of hot and coldness between the two of you, maybe very little communication. And it's kind of, there's been a, a stagnation, there's been a point where you are deciding not to put much more effort into this connection and nor is this person. Like there's like some sort of energy of stalemate. You could have your backs to each other as of right now. One could be focusing on the past and one could be kind of um, focusing on their future. But I feel like there could be a bit of a disconnect between the two of you in some way. And this is making you or your person, both of you, feeling very unhappy, um, a bit frustrated to do with the connection. Maybe someone offered their cup of love in the past and got rejected or put an um, offer out there and it wasn't really kind of um, valued I'm getting or appreciated. And someone's had to take the time to kind of heal old wounds in relation to um, some a disconnect between the two of you, something along those lines. But what I'm getting is that if that happened to one of you, the other person wants to get the get like get out of the cold that like you both want to be out of the cold you you both want to be on the same page as one another what i'm feeling is that predominantly what you don't see is there is going to be victory and success there is going to be something new blossoming between the two of you um it may not necessarily have worked in the past um but there could be a little bit of ego and pride and maybe a little bit of arrogance involved um and a big misunderstanding that could be why Either you or both of you may feel a bit trapped up in your head as of right now, regardless of the amount of passion that there is between the two of you. Because there is passion, there is going to be movement coming in after a period of not very much happening. And someone wants to make sure that they move on forward, but they don't want to feel ungrounded by moving everything forward. Um, they need to kind of approach this gently, gently, softly, softly, rather than rushing in. Um, to try and heal a particular connection, as it were. Somebody may have felt relatively lonely and isolated and they've just been waiting for a particular truth to come in um, to find out where you both kind of sit, as it were, so that you can have um, an honest, open communication and conversation, as it were. I feel like someone 
you could be waiting on this particular news because I feel like that is going to make a massive difference. Like it's going to give you some sort of closure when you receive some sort of news as to why a connection, more effort wasn't being put in in the past or why somebody may have been relatively lazy to do with a connection or didn't, you know, put the work in. Potentially someone may say that when they come back around that they actually want to take the connection to the next level and move things forward but it's like you may just approach it on a friend's basis as a first and to kind of get to back to being um friends like getting on the same page feel like you can trust each other feel like you can communicate properly with one another so that you're both kind of satisfied with what's going on i feel like it's kind of all in the unseen that everything will eventually change like there could be a lot happening that you do not see rather than what's actually going on as of right now like predominantly there is going to be movement but it's kind of like it's, it's just trying to make sure that somebody doesn't feel like the only way that a connection is going to be able to move forward, the connection is going to be move forward, is that if one person in particular doesn't feel like they're being taken for granted by the other person, I feel like someone really needs to step up and say, I am willing to put the work into the connection. I do want to fix something between the two of you. I certainly don't want to be out in the cold again. And a wish fulfillment would be for you and I to move on forward together and to kind of know where we stand and be more involved with each other's lives this would be very this would make me very happy and i feel like there is going to be some sort of reconciliation between the two of you and you will be able to take a chance on love i feel like you both have um like a crush on each other or you know that there is a deeper connection between the two of you but there's most likely a very strong soulmate bond here okay and one person may be a little bit apprehensive of how to go forward with the connection. You know, like trying not to take it all too seriously. Somebody wants a lot of fun and somebody wants to um, move forward with it. But it's, it's like trying to make sure that everything's done properly. Because it may be a bit too soon to predict whether as of this particular week that everything's gonna turn out like smelling of roses as it were like it's just trying to enjoy the connection for what it is when you eventually have this open communication with the two of you whereby you kind of know where you stand with one another that's that's where i'm feeling that that is at the point where you both will be able to reignite that particular spark that may not necessarily had been there if if something had been um unbalanced between the two of you before so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to clarify i'm actually going to clarify this um two of cups in reverse because yeah somebody definitely wants to put in the work because they've reflected on the relationship i really feel that i'm going to clarify the two of cups here somebody's going to tell their truth about why they didn't put in the effort before this may be a bit eye-opening this could really hurt someone because they're going to find out some sort of truth but i feel like regardless of the truth something needs to be spoken something needs to be said regardless of whether it's going to hurt somebody obviously there's a diplomatic way of doing it being fair and you know being considerate of each other's feelings obviously of course and having that mutual trust and appreciation and respect that's going both ways but I feel like there's still going to be a very um, stern conversation at some point. Why did this happen or how did it happen or what have you? Because obviously you don't want necessarily resentment being built up by any, by any means. Why is the Two of Cups here in reverse for Pisces, please? What's this about? Why was this breakup or separation or just miscommunication? Look at that, Scorpio. Yeah, there was definitely, there was, the reason the connection ended was potentially there could have been some sort of lies, some sort of conflict, maybe some sort of deceit about an investment. 
this may have put the connection on shaky ground. There wasn't a solid foundation to do with the connection because someone wasn't openly honest or truthful about what their intentions or their plans were to do with the connection. Somebody may have been holding something back. You see how this four of swords and you've got this sword here. Someone was holding back their truth, as it were. And this could have caused a lot of anxiety on someone, feeling unsure about why somebody wasn't going to take their offer or not. Somebody's felt very sad by this difficulty anyway. Maybe felt very let down. Yeah, look at that. We have the three of wands in reverse with the ace of wands. Maybe someone lied potentially about potentially romantic connections, um, other people being in the mix. Maybe somebody felt like, maybe somebody felt like they, um, yeah, somebody was not on the same page of wanting the same thing as someone else. That's why then we've got the ace, of, yeah, oh, okay. Taurus energy somebody you both weren't on the same page somebody wanted long-term commitment or to get a friendship to turn into potentially a romance and yeah and they may have had the courage to kind of speak up we've got Leo energy here may have had the courage to speak up that they wanted to see where it could go and then potentially found out that this other person may have just wanted something that wasn't serious um, not like a relationship material and they weren't on the same page here with the ace of wands in reverse and the knight of wands being in reverse potentially this could have really upset someone because they may have felt like they've been juggled with other people could be dealing with a capricorn like something was illuminated that somebody just wanted something a bit more light-hearted i'm getting like a secret was found out and somebody felt stuck in another cycle, very burdened by a particular situation, as it were. Maybe somebody felt they they weren't good enough or they weren't enough for a connection or for a particular person. And they put their offer out there and it wasn't um, reciprocated. And so therefore, somebody was really quite upset about by that. Oh, maybe they don't fancy me. Maybe they don't you know want this with me what have you i feel like this is all something that's happened in the past they weren't as available as they said they were i feel like that's what the upset was maybe somebody had said that they were available and they weren't and look we have the ace of cups in reverse somebody was very let down by this whole situation heartbroken i'm getting because there was unequal give and take somebody may have been a bit selfish a bit one-sided so I feel like this is all kind of something that happened in the past, yeah. And so somebody had to leave something in order to have victory in their life. So they may have moved on, potentially you may have moved on or they moved on. And by moving on, gaining more confidence in oneself to say, look, I'm not going to stand up for that. And somebody's really working on their confidence, following their intuition and realising that what was going on before was incredibly unfair unjust i'm getting like somebody definitely gave more than them what they were receiving in a relationship somebody could have felt that the other person was incredibly ungrateful um and this could have been really painful but i want to know about these um these knights these knights are both wanting to move on forward there's a lot of movement What's this movement about, these knights, for this connection? I feel like this is more of the current energy. What's this, this knights, what are these knights about? Knight of swords, knight of pentacles, what wants to be moved on forward? Yep, communication coming in with the page of wands. Yeah, communication. Somebody's going to communicate to say that they felt like they blew their chance with someone else, so they're rushing in. They made a big mistake. What's this? Could be dealing with an Aries, um, a Leo or a Sagittarius. 
Why is the Knights here, please? The Pisces, come on. This communication may come out the blue. What's this Knights about the Pisces? Thank you. Look, something long term here with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants victory and success. They've hurt somebody. And they want a reconciliation. They want things to move on forward. They want to rebalance the scales between the two of you. Somebody wants to put in the effort. They may be a little bit stuck in their ego still. A little bit prideful, potentially. They may say, look, I'm kind of sorry for taking you for granted. I would like you to forgive me. I'm actually looking to have something a bit more concrete now. Here with the Ten of Pentacles. That's the truth. That's what's going to be illuminated. I know I juggled you in the past between you and potentially someone else, but I really don't want to do that anymore. Um, I want to actually build on the connection here with you and have a connection that is built on um, you know, trust. They want to show their, their loyalty to you. Look at that. Temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius. They want to balance things out. They want to fix it. They know that they most likely betrayed you or really hurt you here with the Ten of Swords. And that's why they want to come back around, see if they can, you know, put their toe in the water. And figure out how to fix things with you. 10-10, you could be seeing those numbers. This is going to bring a lot of power to you, especially when they open up and say what they need to say. They feel a strong connection between the two of you. They want to actually show you that they respect you for like walking away potentially from the situation. Yeah, look at that. The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. They want, they've been trying, they want to move things forward with you, but they know that they need to um, balance other things going on in their life. They could have a lot going on as of right now. Their lifestyle may be a bit hectic. They could have a lot going on in their finances, in their career, um, in their home life. So therefore, they want a reconciliation and they want to communicate with you. But if things don't necessarily move on forward the way that you are wanting them to move on forward, then potentially um, there could be a little bit of upset in relation to that. But someone's definitely on the way back here with the Six of Swords being in reverse. They've, they, if they may have gone through a rough patch in their life, that could be something that they could be telling you as well. What else is here for the Knights? Oh, look at that. Out of the blue here. The Tower and the Three of Pentacles. Very shocking when this person comes back around to say, with the communication here at the Page of Wands, that they want to work with you. You may be very unsure about what to do. This may really throw you. Yeah, look at that. This will really throw you. With the fall you won't be sure whether to take the leap of faith or not you'll be unsure <sighs> you may feel like when this person comes back around to try to move things forward everything will just be in really bad timing because you are focusing on your career as of right now trying to build a solid foundation you may this is it as well you may be really quite concerned because this is all to do with having a, a foundation and if it's not built on solid ground with the tower then it's going to come crumbling down and you may be fearful that you've taken the time to rebuild yourself up and then this tower is coming in with this communication that is going to really rock you and you're going to be like are they just coming in again just to completely disrupt me or is this going to be like an, another cycle between the two of us or, or are we actually genuinely going to be able to move on forward like successfully this time? I'm getting. But the reason things may not necessarily worked out before is because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. And so therefore now this time around, when this person comes back, they genuinely want to reconcile and they would like something more long term with you. But you could be a little bit unsure which is totally understandable you may be a bit fearful like oh is this this person actually ready are they free have they 
gone through any of their commitment issues? Have they worked on themselves? You may have other people around you that you may be talking to saying, look, maybe you shouldn't get involved with this person. You could be in two minds about the whole thing. You may be considering like, oh, well, does this person want something long term or do they want something more superficial? Do they want something, you know, lusty rather than love? And this could be throwing you off. Yeah, this could be really throwing you off because you may have been up in your head about it, especially if they may have lied in the past about how things were and weren't completely open and honest with you. Could be dealing with a Leo. Look at that Capricorn energy wanting to show itself. I feel like someone's had enough of a situation. They just want it to close out. So you could really be in two minds being very unsure that do I work on this or not? But they want to come from the, I broke up the deck, but they want to communicate to you and say that they can't stop thinking about you. They're, the, they're the nostalgic and they feel like you and them most likely have a past life connection with the two of you and they want a reunion and reconciliation. This person may even have children or maybe you have children and that could be a concern for you as to why you may be in two minds about having this person come back around in your life because you've got to consider the children especially if there's not been very much communication like proper communication between the two of you i just feel it's imperative now that i just clarify this eight of pentacles in reverse because i want to know what this is about there's a block here five of cups yeah somebody's not courageous enough as it as it is right now to come forward and say that they can put in the work for the connection they do feel regretful about it but they haven't got the courage to say that they want to heal it as of yet but that's what they want to do yeah they want to heal it anything to do with a third party they want that to kind of be gone and out because this person wants something more solid more loyal commitment that's what they're working on and that's the truth that they've had enough really of these kind of other situations in their life with other people what else about this eight of pentacles here in reverse you know want to know whether this person actually is genuinely going to put in the work or not they want to come back here with the six of swords with the emperor and the fix things they want to fix it they want to work with it with you. They know this is going to really throw you off, unbalance you, unground you. But they want to come back. So it'll be you for you to take the time, for you to focus on yourself as of right now. Get yourself... I'm getting mentally prepared to face this person. Look at that. Because you're going to be more confident and proud of yourself. Justice is coming in for you. They want to bring justice to you. They're very attracted to you. But this has been very painful. A very painful cycle. But look at that. They want to be the emperor to your empress. This has basically turned you both into the people. Um, both turned you into emperor and empress. They potentially may have been the two knights before or pages before, very immature. And now they're kind of leveling up and they're realising that if they would like something long term with you, they need to sit in their emperor status and they need to approach you in emperor status. And you'll be sitting here, whatever you guys went through, it triggered you both to then for you to step into queen to then empress. And now they see you transform yourself. And all they do is look at you because they haven't been able to let go of you here. Their heart had been blocked in the past. They know that they most likely um, have been guarded or maybe you have felt guarded and your heart blocked to this person. But you've both not been able to move on from one another. You've been working on yourself, trying to empower yourself so you're not so anxious. And things may have felt relatively stuck. You may have just decided to pause in your own love life for quite some time. To focus on you to get to this kind of empress status. And now love is coming in for you. And you may be a bit unsure about what to do. So that's why I feel like this reading is quite significant for you as of right now. 
you're not sure about whether this person is coming in for something real and significant or whether it's going to be some funny business but I feel like I feel like something is going to be definitely revealed something's been revealed let's look at the island time wellness love oracle cards and see what's going on for pisces in relation to this this week love reading kisses unconditionally loving giving receiving affection falling in love they, they want to show you the affection that they didn't show you to before they want to bring in stability here with the palm tree they want to grow your connection they want something with permanence they want something with roots they probably didn't have anything with roots in the past and now they want something with roots and they know that you and them have something. They want to trans transform your connection. Oh my gosh, look at that engagement ring. Partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union and it landed here on the Ten of Pentacles. This person may come forward towards you out of the blue and there may be some crazy kind of proposal from this person. This person may be waiting for something else to change in their life so that they can come in towards you. That's why they may be rushing in one way or another. They're rushing in with the communication, but things will be moving very slowly in the material because they want something long term. Potentially, they may feel that you've moved on from them, that you're happily single without them having fun, embracing yourself. But they want to move forward with you. They know that you have many options who'd be interested in you because they've seen you kind of transform yourself. This person will want to kind of jump in and have a deeper commitment with you and it will be really shocking. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savouring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. Yeah, this person may out of the blue just say, look, do you want to meet up for a coffee? What else is going on for Pisces? Look at that, because all they do has been watching you here with sunglasses, watching you from a distance. They see you transform here like this butterfly. They want your relationship or situationship to evolve to the next phase. They want it to grow and to end the old cycle that there was between the two of you to bring in something brand new. And it's all being done in like divine timing here. Next time takes time and time cycles time to heal and progress. And then I like you. So yeah, they're going to come forward towards you to say that they want to date you, that they like you and they want things to move on forward. Potentially they sabotaged the connection before if they went with these other options because maybe they didn't feel like they were enough for you. And they, sell, they sabotaged it before it even began. So and it wasn't necessarily to do with you. I mean, they may have just, they may have rejected you in the past but that's predominantly because they didn't feel good enough in themselves to accept you. So therefore, they projected their own fears about not being good enough onto you and then made you feel like you weren't good enough. Please just take what you feel resonates and, and leave the rest, by the way, guys. So I'm sorry if this triggers anybody. But um, triggers are kind of ne like they're necessary in relation to our growth. Whatever triggers us heals us because then it's opening our eyes to and not just our normal eyes, but our kind of third eye, as it were, our spiritual eyes into recognition about what it is that we need to do to transform ourselves, become the best versions of ourselves and the most healed as well, more awakened versions of us. What's going on here with the Romance Angels for Pisces? Straight out, let go of control issues. Let, allow the situation to unfold naturally. This person may have been a bit controlling in the past, especially if they withheld their emotions from you, trying to control the situation. They just didn't allow things to naturally flow by telling you that they had the feelings that they had for you in the past. But I feel like you're letting go of the control. And that's why it's attracting this person like a moth to a flame to come forward towards you and have something more solid. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. This person recognises you and sees you as their true love. You may have thought that about them as well. Yeah, new love. You could also have new love coming in who could be a new love, a true love. But also this past person potentially is going to be reborn as it were 
transformed, gone through a metamorphosis with a particular growth, allowing themselves to be showing to you as their best version of themselves. So stay optimistic that things will move on forward. There's going to be a reconciliation between the two of you. What else are Pisces? What else spirit will be in this house for Pisces? Thank you. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So yes, this person's releasing their ex, or maybe you are, um, to allow love to come in. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Well, we know that because obviously with this Queen of Wands energy, she's very independent. Um, speaking energies here rather than necessarily um, gender. Look at that. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So if there had been any um, difficulties in relation to someone having children, then an issue is going to be resolved. This could be the one. You met already met the romantic partner you seek, an attraction. You know how I was saying earlier that potentially if you were the one that had children and you were, may have been two minds, so potentially you may be talking to your child, as it were, or children, and discussing potentially at some point, um, or kind of debating about the idea about whether to bring this person into your life or to um, get them become more established in your life, because this person could be the one. There is the attraction between the two of you, but potentially someone has to free themselves out of something. So I'm going to pull from the Soul Journey Oracle cards and see what we can get for Pisces to close out this reading for advice and guidance. What can we get for Pisces, please, for this first week of December? I know that this has been very painful for you. And you may have felt like really unsure about what to do. Especially if this person came across like they had a change of heart in the beginning. Um, that could have been incredibly painful. And you may have had difficulty like opening up your heart again. But I feel like this person wants to change things around between the two of you. So that you don't feel stuck and blocked and repressing your feelings and emotions. Because that's you know it's not healthy it needs to be expressed the emotions need to be worked through what's going on for pisces please what's, what's, can you get for pisces what do they need to know for this what do they need to know i feel this one denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness so potentially you may have felt like this person was in denial about your connection for quite some time um and they probably were but they're realising they need to change that. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So the, this person is changing certain aspects of themselves. Letting go of fear in order to bring something in between the two of you. Happiness. I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. Look at that. So there will be some sort of happiness regardless of whether you go for this person from the past whether you go for a new person or you just stay single as it is, like you just stay doing what you're doing and working on you. But, you know, it's, it's realising that the happiness doesn't necessarily come from another person, it comes from ourselves. And here we have acceptance and gratitude. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change and I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So it's allowing you to recognise these um, that these are all necessary for growth and that they're all transforming you to be the next and best version of yourself yep there we are growth growth i want to expand my consciousness and awareness and we we're just saying that about growth and it's come out there'll be a very honest communication and conversation between the two of you though i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself and that's why i feel like you'll you might have quite firm boundaries with this person but whatever it is that you end up doing, um, however this plays out, um, you will eventually grow in self-esteem from it and your person will transform as well. And maybe there may be a point at time where you may be able to laugh about the whole thing, but I feel that could be a lot later on down the line if you were to continue with this connection. But anyway, that is the end of the reading. So if you did enjoy... 
please like, share and subscribe, leave us a comment, I greatly appreciate it. If you do leave us a comment, then um, obviously I'll, I'll reply back to you. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. I hope that you have a very good week and please take care of yourselves and we'll speak to you again soon. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and bye for now.